three, two, one. It's showtime. Nighttime pod. Timon? I didn't, I didn't know what even we say were... anything. <laughs> Nighttime pod. Nighttime pod. Nighttime it's 8.30 p.m. <laughs> for us. Yeah, uh, but it's Monday morning for you, hopefully. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, Brad, I got a story for you. I was performing this past weekend and do a little crowd work. Mm-hmm. No stranger. Sure. And I'm talking to a woman sitting front and center. And I said, what do you do for a living? And she said, I'm an ASL interpreter. I, I interpret sign language. Uh, and, you know, the crowd is applauding her. I'm doing it with my eyes, I think. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Good. Active and, listener. Uh, and then, I mean, I'm 30 seconds into my set. Something comes over me. I'm like, would you want to come on stage and interpret as I perform? Yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I could. Yeah, yeah. And then the crowd is going crazy. And then I realize, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. And then I'm, I'm like, oh, does she really want to work? She paid for VIP <laughs> tickets and I'm about to like put her to work. I don't, actually, she probably would not want to do that. And the crowd's cheering her out. So then I'm like, you know what? How do you say never mind? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you, what's the best way? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't think it through. <laughs> Call on the ASL interpreter and bring her up on stage and then tell her never mind prank. <laughs> Whoa, dude. We're trying to get ready for our comedy special, so probably shouldn't bring strangers up on stage with this prank. Uh, no one really comes to comedy shows if they're deaf, prank. <laughs> uh, uh-oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat, so come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, because it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. That is a good point. Uh, yeah, you've I, never had an ASL interpreter before. Once in Austin, Texas. Oh, of course. Um, and then saw him again. <laughs> a little too inclusive. Yeah, He's distracting yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> no, I do remember. I used to have a bit about diarrhea, and I realized as I'm doing it, I was like, "Oh, they had to sign this," and oh, I was like, "Yeah." Hey, just I, I kind of broke the fourth wall. If there even is a fourth wall comedy, I was like, <laughs> diarrhea. And then like made her do the gesture again. I was like, that's pretty funny. It's, it's just a downward <laughs> and motion. That's what I remember it being. It was like that. <laughs> it just um, looks like, like you're doing a rain stick. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> that's what really? she, she claimed it to be. So um, anyway, so yeah, we had it once. And even at the time, it was like, I wonder who's here. Who needs this? Yeah, right. And like, what is... I can't imagine the tone translating real well with sign language, but you, maybe it's better than nothing. Do you ever watch them though? They put the tone into the face, like when they're they doing do. it. When you're worshiping, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, do you have one at church? Uh, no, we don't want to be one of those churches. We, we do have one of those at church <laughs> and uh, it's amazing. Like it's like off to the side, you know, not too distracting, but every once in a while I'm like, like especially when they read scripture and they're just doing all the names and I'm just oh, like- Oh, you got to spell out Zachariah yes, real quick. And I'm like, there's no, you skipped a, like three, three cents. <laughs> Z-A-C-H, you fill in the blank. Yeah. It's, it's like, Zach what? for now. I'm just watching. I mean, it's amazing what they do. Uh, did you ever go through a sign language phase? No, not really at all. I did briefly. It was right, either right before or right after my yo-yo stage. So the hands were busy yeah, during yeah. that time. Yeah, third, fourth grade. I remember my mom took me to a library because I think they were doing a class or yeah. something. And I went. Did you guys have after school programs, like, like all these different special groups that you could be in? No. What kind of special groups? Like I'll, I'll, the only one I remember is karate because I always wanted to do that and my mom never signed me up for it. <laughs> she just wouldn't let you. I don't know if it was like, or maybe it was like they got full, full too fast or something and my mom felt bad. Like, no, he doesn't have to do karate. He can do one of the other ones. So it was like, I did board games one time. Board games after school club. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm sure there's a sign language one. Okay. Stuff like that. But yeah, I was, I've always kind of been kind of bitter about not doing, I've never done karate in my life. It's like people who like. It's um, not too late. Like their parents let them get out of piano lessons. And I'm like, I wish you would have forced me to do piano. That's also me, uh-huh. but, but not me. You know, that's my whole, my mom's whole story. She's like, if I let you quit, you cannot say when you're older, I wish you would have made me take piano lessons. So. And you're just one of those adults. It's very common who just wish they had after school karate programs. I just wish I knew how to break some wood. That's all, <laughs> that's all I want to do. What if I do? What if I just go to like, you know, fifth grade karate lessons? Yeah, Dwight Schrute. Yeah, I could do it. That would be fun. I I don't want to say anything offensive because I don't know a ton about martial arts, but it does seem like karate and maybe some of these other ones, like they're not really training you to ever like fight anyone. It's a lot of just like self-defense if the other person also knows karate. <laughs> 
You know, it's like, well, don't don't kick it's, me in the crotch. Like, 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 wait, you wait, wait, put to... your arms up like this. <laughs> yeah, like it has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing below the belt. All right, right. let's keep this clean. My sh- yeah, you hit my shin. That's not a. That's not we're allowed. Not, we're not kicking. <laughs> yeah, we're not kicking. Yeah, that's go to Title Nine on Kickboxing Night if you want to do that. Stop doing it. Quit, dude. Yeah, quit. No Sin- brass knuckles. Sensei Seth said nothing. <laughs> like, but that's right here. <laughs> Just bounce up and down. Like this. Give me a board to hit. You do an Asian accent. Try to block me. Try to block me with a board. <laughs> Dude, I'll kick right through it. Stop. <laughs> Let us know. You're getting mugged. You're like, quit. Dude, this is not how they said you would do it. Hold on, I need headgear. We're I don't have my belt on. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Asking someone to quit because you don't have your belt on is a good reason for anything. To refuse I don't anything. have my belt on. <laughs> Just in general. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get my belt on first. <laughs> we have more spaghetti. I don't have my belt on. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> and would you like to donate? Would you like to round up for the Children's Miracle? No, Listen, I don't have my belt look on. Look at my waist. It's a <laughs> naked waist. I don't have my belt on. <laughs> You got to say it like one word, too. Belt on. I don't have my belt on. I don't have my belt on. <laughs> uh, I'll do that at Panda Express next time. Wait, wait. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. Here's a joke. Okay. Ready? Do you want to um, do spin classes inside your house uh, with other people inside their house? No, because I don't have my belt on. <laughs> of the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You were there. Really hey, running. you got done running. You got done swimming. Do you want to do the third part of a triathlon? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't have my belt on. <laughs> do you have your blood on? <laughs> yeah, dude. I just, this is the second time today. It's been both times with you. I've just picked a scab Brad's on my bleeding. face. You got his blood on. I swear I'm not like just always doing this. I guess Jake brings out a tick in me or something. It looks like you're just like uh, I'm just you're a cartoon character, really nervous. Just wiping your <laughs> oh, brow. Oh, boy. <laughs> dude, the word brow... Uh, gets talked about all the time when you read books. You ever notice that? Like, like and he furrowed his brow, and yeah. he looked calmingly. As a, Furrow, as a furrowed, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of furrowing. It's a lot of, he narrowed his eyes. It's yeah. a lot of that. I don't, I don't think about that when I look at someone. Like, oh, he is furrowing his brow. I did oh. look at my eyebrows the other day when I had that really long hair, and I just thought, <laughs> eyebrows It, all, it always comes back to the long eyebrows. No, listen, it does. <laughs> my sister was with me the other day. She finally plucked it out, and it was, <laughs> I mean, inch and a half long. Rachel and I have started doing. Okay, sorry. Let me acknowledge. Let me acknowledge. Just acknowledge inch and a half. An inch and a half is a while. <laughs> it was really long. That's <laughs> inch and a half. Wow. With the brow. I'm just saying. Was that five centimeters, probably? Dude, I have something about that in a second. Let's you talk about. Want to talk units? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was it was storming tonight. That was. What do we do every single time uh, the lightning strikes, and we're worried about how far away the th- thunder is or the lightning is? Start counting. Why? And we count because of how many miles away it is. What do they do in other countries? <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about that? How convenient is it for us? Yeah, like, that, that works that out. Seems, that seems very uh, like a false, <laughs> like, you know, assurance to kids. Like, Well, what it is, let me explain it for you. As some religions will point out to you, mm-hmm. America is God's chosen place. God's country. Is that yes. What yeah. Now the Bible will tell you other things. Yeah. But there are yeah. certain religions where they say, no, Jesus was American. God's an American. Yeah. And, and Trump is Jesus. So that's kind of why. Okay. But one of the other things is everything is built for America. <laughs> Isaac. America. Just, just zooming in on a Slurpee on the screen. <laughs> just getting Brad's attention. Love it. Like he showed us something tiny. Slurpee. So it's all built for us. So yes, it happens to be exactly one second of time. Mm-hmm is also 5,280 feet of travel right. from the difference in light and sound. That's crazy. <laughs> it, it's and how it, it is. Just, it only works for us. It only works for us. And in the metric system, they still do time the same way as us. So it's, until they do a metric version of time, they won't know about storms. Yeah. They're like one and three-fifths, two and six-tenths. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else I never think about? Now that I'm thinking about European storms, do they have tornadoes over there? You never hear about them. You never hear about it like a decimating. Is there a Dan- F5 Danish tornado? tornado. Alley? Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. The Danish tornado. That's what. That's like, if I were Dutch or Danish or whatever, the I would love that Nether. to be my nickname. The Danish tornado. I would love like if I were like a good basketball <laughs> player randomly. Don't let him back you down. He's the Danish tornado. Yeah, I'll spin you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not heard. I, it, it seems like something that might be, I don't know, Ireland or something. They might have some. It feels like you need to be landlocked. They need to have a little bit of lush. No, nah, I mean not lush, but like, yeah, some nice rolling hills or something. You don't just have. You tell it. me, Czechoslovakia doesn't. Have, Czechia doesn't have tornadoes. They're landlocked. They gotta. Yeah, but I'm saying like Middle East, like Iran, 
No way. Too hot. Too hot. Too dooney. I feel like they just have wind, like wind storms of some sort. Here comes the expert. I don't no, know. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I just picture like yeah. more desertish climates. I think like a, I don't know, sandstorms are a thing, right? Darude would say so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here we go. Has there ever been a tornado in Czech Republic? Yes. <laughs> you specifically looked up that country. Uh, I, it's landlocked. <laughs> the tornado struck seven municipalities. <sighs> Whoa. Count. Yeah. Count one one thousand two. <laughs> uh, with the worst damage. In the villages of Ruski. Oh, yeah. that's I forget. Yep. Yeah. Um, this tornado was the strongest documented in modern Czech history. In the dead, oh, deadliest European tornadoes since 2001. So they have them. Whoa, you picked a good one to... Yeah, that was the right country to Google. <laughs> deadliest since 2001. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe not that often. Speaking of Europe, I was looking into um, Portugal weather. Rachel, this Portugal trip is coming up. Yeah, dude. And I was like, up. you know, I wonder where... I wonder how warm it's going to be. What's the weather like in Portugal? We're going there. Looked it up. Very nerdy of me, but I looked up Lisbon, Portugal latitude. Okay. Thought that'd be a fun way of, instead of just Googling Portugal weather. Yeah. Let's go about a roundabout. And it said like 39 degrees north. Okay, okay fun. Shawnee, Kansas. Yeah. Latitude, 39.5 degrees north. No Isn't that way. Wild? We're like on the same plane. Just go straight east, brother. It seems like they're so much <laughs> higher up than us. That that does uh, yeah I I would, I'm very surprised by that yeah they're like a half degree off wow so interesting that's fun so yeah pretty much the same same weather interesting because I was I studied abroad in Spain I don't know if you ever knew that but um and that's not that far from Portugal and I felt like the weather was not as cold there like it didn't the winter the culture not, that's spicy it. culture that's it. yeah <laughs> so okay what were you saying about Rachel and centimeters and stuff uh, they don't need not to go worth back. it not worth it not worth it. Yeah, anyway, I, I literally had that thought tonight because there were storms out and the kids, especially H- Hattie's kind of nervous and skittish around them. And we're trying to say like, Hattie, if you get nervous, then Bo and Rosie are going to get nervous because yeah. whatever. You have to be and a strong so, tower. Yeah. So we're just having fun. Like every time we saw lightning, one, 1,000, you know, we're <laughs> counting them up. Uh, Hattie's little signs. She's like, well, that last one was five. And then the one, the next one was nine. He's like, how does that work? I thought it would get closer. I was like, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. Uh, but I thought to myself, how convenient is it that, yeah, just the miles work out for us? That really worked out for us. Like British people, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Well, that was a bad accent. Yeah. <laughs> Three, one thousand. Three. Three. Four, one thousand. Oh, well, how many kilometers was that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess it's close. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There, I'm trying to think. I think there's been, uh, I've thought of other examples like that. Like, oh, this happened to work out. This is very convenient. Right. It works out this way. Like the lore of how we were taught. I don't know. I can't think of them though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, How's old Henry? He's pretty good. I, I, I put the pretty in there because. Uh, he's pooping. He's pooping all right. He seems like he might have some gas. Like he's not sleeping as well as I want him to. Like. I made a joke yesterday. I was like, Henry, I've never seen your eyes closed in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not truly true, but like, it feels like, and it's also like, uh, like he's not sleeping super well, specifically with me. So that's, uh. that's kind of a, a bummer for both of us. Cause like Catherine's got the touch. I'm not there yet with them. And so I hold them and it's, it's been a little bit like, I'm either, I'm either bopping, I'm bopping or I'm shaking, you know, Bop it. yeah, shake it, twist it, bah. <laughs> pull it. <laughs> <laughs> I did do some toast and nose. Have I told you about that? I was going to ask if you did that. Love yeah, yeah. me some toast and nose. And yeah. every yeah. once in a while, when it works, it, it's so satisfying. Gas is spewing out. Oh, like you it's just, just open like, the propane tank. Yeah, man. It's like, let's go. Let's go. And then he's so much happier. Um, but overall, he's still really good. He's sleeping through the night pretty well, um, which is great. That's, that's a huge blessing. But um, yeah, nothing too crazy. The kids are still... Just all about him. Rosie, I've learned, just doesn't have a second volume. Like, we'll be like, you need to whisper. And she'll be like, okay, okay. And then she'll just go in there and just be like, baby! <laughs> I'm like, golly. <laughs> Luckily, he's young enough where it doesn't bother him that much. Like, when they're that young, they can sleep through anything. But it still feels just wrong to scream in his face. Yeah. I saw, <laughs> yeah, because we had a um, we had a ghosty post in the Facebook group. They were like, uh, 
similar to Rachel's thing about like, uh, it's like a zoo. She said, I think like the phrase like sleeps like a baby is also not true because they wake up all the time. Yeah. And that's why you call me like, oh, babies are pretty deep sleepers though. Dude. Yeah. One of my, <laughs> one of my best memories with Rosie when she was first born was watching the national championship KU versus North Carolina. KU was down by 18 points at the half or whatever. And they came back and I was holding her and I was screaming <laughs> so loud. <laughs> ah, let's go. And Kat was like, Brad, I can't like, and I'm just like, he's, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Sleep it. Yeah. <laughs> Pass you? it. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Pass it. <laughs> that's that's a pretty funny, like, yeah, You guys ever play little... Bop It, Timon? You yeah. grow up playing Bop It? Okay. Yeah. Just make sure you know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. How sheltered is he? <laughs> Timon, what about, uh, I, I always wonder, like, if Timon is closer to my kids or me as far as, like, things you know or things you're into, especially since you have young uh, brothers and sisters. How how much how familiar are you with magnet tiles? Um, magnet tiles. I feel like I know. I feel like I know what you're talking about, but like by a different name. But I can't remember the name. Well, there's also Picasso something Picasso. Don't know Picasso those. tiles or something like that. What I'm thinking of it's like colorful, like transparent squares and stuff slightly yep. transparent, like with like lines through. I don't know, like bingo. Yeah. Triangles. You, you know what they are? Squares. Oh, I love playing with them. Dude. Didn't grow up playing with them. Yeah. Playing with them now when my friends have kids. Dude. Well, I, I played with my kids for like two hours this afternoon with them. And I I wonder if maybe adults are just missing out on playing with things like that. I had so much fun. They're so fun. And they have, they have so they have magnet tiles that are just like magnet different uh, shapes. But then we have these things. They're Picasso or something. Picasso blocks or I don't know. But they're like the old like like almost like tubes like that you can like set up and like make different like Tube things for, for marbles to go through. Yeah. yeah. And it is, we had so much fun. Both thought it was the coolest thing ever, like to set it all up. And like, I took, took off my shoe. And so the marble like fell into my shoe and he thought it was hilarious. And I would like take the marble and be like, Oh, it's just so <laughs> stinky. And both just die and laughing, dude. And we made a freaking cool looking machine. Like, That's fun. It, and Bo's like, He's like, it's a gumball machine that makes really good bread and cakes and ice cream. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, it's just fun, imaginative stuff. And so, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, you have kids. You get to be a kid all over again. Start playing with toys again. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, like, I think that maybe adults are just missing out on, like, maybe do some kid stuff. Like fun motor skill type stuff. and Yeah, I, I know that uh, for a while, I remember how coloring books came back. Maybe they still are, but like adult coloring books. Did you ever hear uh, about that? Rachel, every now and then, a long flight. Rachel download a coloring book app on her phone. Oh, really? Get after it. Yeah, like people will like buy these adult color, like more complicated coloring books. But I'm sure, I'm sure that's like very therapeutic, or even like putting together Legos. I would love to put together <laughs> a Lego thing every once in a while. I don't know. There are a lot of Legos specifically. There's a lot of adults. Yeah, yeah out there. You're right. Legos. I know Bethke loves Legos, but like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not trying to be like. I want to build a city of Lego stuff. I just want to have some around every once in a while to tinker with. It's a project. It has know? been yeah. a, so long since I've just like had a Lego set to put together. I know, dude. That sounds fun. <laughs> exactly. It, there's something like just. Yeah. It's it's simple. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun to be a parent and get to do all those things again. But I'm like, maybe we're missing out. Should why why a, wait till we're parents? A Lego set for Gulf Shores and just kind of everyone pitch in. Just like, hey, when yeah. you're around the table. I don't, know, I don't know what it is about this magnet tiles, but like building like little rooms and like being like, this is this kind of room or this yeah. is a garage or like, oh, yeah. I'm going to make this ceiling taller than the rest or this is a little Vaulted. nook. I don't know why I love nooks, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I just had so, and of course, Bo is not the easiest guy to play with. He's like, no, that's not how it works. No, the garage, the garage is not going to be that tall. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> like, all right. But, uh, you're right. Sorry. But man, he got into the gumball machine. So that makes bread. Yeah. <laughs> and ice cream. So anyway, that's fun. I went to some amazing cities this week. Yeah. Was it? Uh, it was Maui, um, Fiji. That's a city. Uh, Lisbon and Perf. Perf. <laughs> That's perfect. It is those four cities, but of the greater Midwest, Great Plains mm, area. Plains. We're talking Omaha. We're talking Lincoln. You dog. Then Topeka. Lucky. Then Wichita. Oh. You Wichita? Here's what I'll say. <laughs> Omaha is the bell of the ball. <laughs> Omaha is Omaha is nice. great. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha is looking real good right about now. <laughs> Holy cow. And you guys know my stance. You know, I'm like, hey, every city's the same. People are good everywhere. People are bad. You know, whatever. 
These those last three cities we were in were interesting. <laughs> it was a it was a different vibe. Omaha was awesome. I think part of it is the venue is only one year old. So I mean everything backstage is state of the art. It's so nice. It was so great. Give me some specific examples. Um, I took a video to show Rachel. Like I had a in my I mean the nicest dressing room I've ever been in. Just like you could tell it's brand new. Really nice furniture. Yeah. <clears throat> Massive TV. Never turned it on, but it's nice. It's there. My own really nice bathroom. Really nice shower. It's just like. Everything is nice, and the, the finishes are nice, and the countertops, and right. just awesome. I had this dial where I could I could <clears throat> make presets for how I wanted the lighting in the room. They had cool light now we're talking. options. Like, they're, they're like a drop ceiling, and oh, they had LED nice. lights around it, so it's like you could change it to, like, overhead, like, white lighting, or you could do orange lighting, or you could get the LED strips, and you could go blue, and you go blue pulsing if you're, you know, a madman, and you could do <laughs> green, and you could do all... I know, love that. I would do like options. I would do like pre-show. Pre-show, I do this. You know, five minutes before <laughs> <laughs> post-show. Like that's that, so fun. Like uh, uh, when Aaron and Michael are ready to celebrate Holly's. Uh, right. I think think one way or the other. It's like all right, I've got two presets. Show went well or show went bad. <laughs> Sponge to wipe up my tears. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that was fun. really nice. Afterwards, we um, there was a counts, uh, casino on Council Bluffs, Iowa. How close is that? Six minutes. Oh, that's right. It's like on the Omaha's on the border or Lincoln's on the border? Omaha's the one on the border. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, you know Nolan, who we scrimmage against. C yeah. Stone. C Stone. <laughs> Help uh, him out. You're welcome. Yeah, Nolan, who First coaches basketball. Uh, my friend from SBU. He texted me. I was I'd been off stage for three minutes, and he texted me a picture of the outside of the venue. He's like, and it was Trey Kitty's face was on the LED screen. He's like, yo, are you inside of this right now? I was like, yeah, I am. Are you here? He's like, yeah, I'm here for work. I had no idea you were in town. I was just driving oh. by, saw Trey's face. I was wow. like, yeah, I just got off stage. He was like, well, there's a casino nearby. I was like, I'll see you later. <laughs> and so we all went, and that was fun. Um, I When we got to Atlantic City months and months ago for a show, I had $100 in my wallet. Four casino shows later, four states later, I have $850 in my wallet. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Keep it going. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Omaha was awesome. It was great. Hop on the bus next morning, wake up in Lincoln. How, and how was the bus with Tom? Thomas? Thomas was only there for one night. Katie and Thomas right. joined once we got to Topeka. They they knew what they were doing. You know, yeah. <laughs> had to go to Topeka. As little as possible. Okay, okay. Um, but once Thomas was on the bus, it was great. He I woke up to him crying one time. Okay. And then I went right back to sleep. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Slept like a baby. Uh, but yeah, woke up in Lincoln and like I do in most cities, first thing I do when I wake up, get on Google maps and I type in acai bowl, see what we're talking, see if anything's close by. And, um, there's nothing. So my God, I gotta zoom out a little bit, zoom out, nothing anywhere in Lincoln. Hey, not a big deal. I would, I would settle for a smoothie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I type in the word smoothie, <laughs> no results. What? Like, there's no fruit in this town. This is University of Nebraska is here. There, there are college athletes here. Oh, yeah, you're right. University of Nebraska is Lincoln. It's in Lincoln. And there's University of Nebraska, Omaha, but the main Uno. one is... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. they've got a Kearney campus too, but um, yeah, no fruit, the whole city. So <laughs> really? it did, did start my day off right. I'm like, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta don't sell fruit here? <laughs> Somebody get something going in Lincoln. What are you, just all about like corn or something? Yeah, husky corn, you can't <laughs> yeah. husk a strawberry? Yeah, corn syrup maybe, <laughs> huh? <laughs> husk a strawberry. <laughs> Strawberries have husk, you can husk them too. Um... Yeah, that's a. So what'd you go with? You go with a little nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I ended up doing that day. Um, I don't remember. But um, ran my mile on Lincoln's uh, Nebraska's campus. That was nice. That would be fun. I'd be yeah. all about that. Yeah, it was really pretty. Uh, beautiful day. So that was fun. Um, might have been where I had the ASL interpreter that night. Okay. Um, was it on campus? Your your show? It was like a, a couple blocks from it. It was real okay. close by. Yeah. And then got to Topeka the next day. And Topeka, I was like, whoa, Lincoln, I, I was too hard on you, Lincoln. I missed you, Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lincoln, at least stuff was going on. You know, it's pretty pop in college town. Like, okay, wow, yeah, I was way too hard on Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln was actually just fine. Because Topeka, what are your experiences with Topeka? It's such a bummer, dude. It's, <laughs> it's, it is it is like the one place, I know you're going to hate on Wichita next, which I, I have issues with this Wichita to an extent. Topeka, I have very little positive things to say. And I... We'll hype up Kansas as much as anybody. <laughs> I think the the Capitol building is beautiful. I love yeah, the Kansas sure. Capitol building. Beyond that, there is nothing um, original about Topeka in my knowledge. Like, there's no cool coffee shop. How hard is it to have one coffee shop? Like that. Like, like there's there's nothing. Like I remember Catherine and I. It was the 
in between from K-State and Kansas City. Oh, so we met there oh, senior so you, year. Yeah, you've been at Topeka. So we were like, we got to find some fun places to go. It was difficult, dude. <laughs> like, we tried to find a cool, like, Mexican, like, play. It was the grossest Mexican. Like, it just is not. I have no positive things to say. I couldn't find a building that was built in the last 40 years. Everything is so old there. But, like, not cool old. Yeah. yeah. You know There's what I mean? a difference in, like, yeah, that's a difference. So like, what, 1970s old. When I went to Wabash, Indiana, it was a very small town. But I loved downtown Wabash and cute little bookstores and yeah, people character. were out and everything. And so I do my little Google search and see there is one acai bowl shop. It's called Onyx Wellness Cafe. And it's 1.6 miles away. I was like, all right, I'll go on a little run, a little further run today. No problem. And so I run across the bridge over the Kansas River. You ever seen the Kansas River? Yeah. Beautiful dark brown. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful I, I believe brown. it's not allowed to have boats on it anymore. It, it was looking a little dried up yep. and very brown, just like, <laughs> yeah, dark chocolate just, milk brown. Yeah, they call um, it the, the mighty Miss Missican. Miss Missican, yeah. yeah. And I run there, and I get to the location. I open the door, and what do I see? But it's a bunch of old ladies in salon like seats getting their <laughs> hair cut. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> is this? A little dual action. Yeah, I was like, is, it, is there like a, a wellness cafe, like an Aussie Evil shop? They're like, oh, yeah, it's just right there. We share a, a building with them. I was like, oh, sorry. Okay, great. So, yeah, it's a, it's the Onyx Wellness Cafe and Salon. And, and so Spa. They, <laughs> yes, they, they do it all there. Um, it was great. I walked into the, the Wellness Cafe, and they were playing Crazy Frog. Bomp, bomp. Ba, 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 ba. It was a, oh, yeah, I like yeah. to move it, move it. <laughs> I like to move it. Wait, move is the it. song Crazy Frog? Or I is think that that's artist? like the artist who does like cheesy renditions of songs you've heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just hyping them up, you know? Yeah. And they sold, uh, it was the wildest looking place. I mean, they sold like knickknacks that like, I don't know, I guess grandma's in Topeka buy them. They sold uh, rainbow print leggings there. They sold Pringles there. If you, you wanted to get Pringles there. <laughs> All three, yeah. And then they did sell acai bowls. And I will say, bowl wasn't half bad. <laughs> I had a good time eating my okay. bowl. Um, <laughs> That's so great. Then I realized, um, this is our third day on tour. And I guess I shouldn't say I've realized, but I just decided, like, I need to stop borrowing other people's toothpaste. I okay. should just get my own toothpaste. I forgot it at home. Okay. And would they have some knickknacks there? Some toothpaste? They did not have rainbow all, toothpaste, just about everything but toothpaste uh -huh. there. And so I go back to the venue, and I mean, one block away from us is a BP gas station. Like, great, that's all I'll get my toothpaste there. So the, the slideshow is going to begin now. Um, for those watching on YouTube, oh man, the Slurpee is up there right now. Um, okay, yeah, here it comes. I won't They're look too quick, time and just in case. What? Uh, what? I, I'm not looking, okay, 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 tell okay. me when to look. All right, great. So here's where we're starting off at. This is our first BP. Not a huge deal. Our um, first BP. Or sorry, yeah, our first, <laughs> our first stop. Yeah. Uh, I go to the BP. And did I get solicited by two homeless people in the parking lot? Yes, but that's fine. Hey, silver lining could have been three. <laughs> right? That's right. That's right. That's what we've always said. I go in there and I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and they don't have anything that looks like toothpaste. And I think, well, Maybe that's a commodity in Topeka. Maybe they keep it behind the counter. You know, this is the <laughs> high value thing. Yeah. So I asked him, I said, do you guys uh, have any toothpaste here? And he says, no, no, we do not carry any toothpaste. But if you go down, if you go off 6th Street and Topeka Boulevard, there's a there's a smoke shop. They'll have some. <laughs> Great. I don't know how far away that is. But I was like, I got time. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to yeah, start walking. Say, that seems like one of those ones, in hindsight, you should have verified. <laughs> Smoke shop doesn't seem like, hey, we're going to toothpaste. I'll get it today. I'll get some more today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, so this is what I roll up on. This is the smoke shop. <laughs> it is. I mean, there is a billboard. The billboard is the roof to the smoke shop. It could not be closer to it. You see that guy smoking a cigarette outside of it? Uh -huh. He is the one employee. Okay. Felt bad. He had just come outside and just lit a cigarette. And then when I walked up, he had to put it out and go back in. <laughs> And I apologize. He's like, it'll be a big sale, probably. I'm sure he's this this, <laughs> this guy right here. He looks like he's getting a carton a day. <laughs> no, I get any aqua fresh. Uh, it was the first time in my life I've apologized for someone to someone for like, sorry, I <laughs> I ruined your cigarette. I sound like Forrest Gump. <laughs> sorry, I messed up your Black Panther party. <laughs> um, sorry, you don't have uh, to smoke any butts anymore. <laughs> sorry, you got to relight your cigarette. <laughs> sorry, your cigarette tasted like. Anyway, so he goes in. 
And he's like, uh, we're going to get it for you. And I was like, looking for some toothpaste. Heard you're the guy to talk to. <laughs> I love <laughs> And uh, yeah, he didn't seem real pumped about it. <laughs> Thanks for liking this story. I, 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 I mean, this guy, I mean, this, this, I mean, a smoke shop is, got, it's not, it's not, it's a rough place. Like. And you're just going in there, happy-go-lucky, uh, very apologetic, very polite. Sorry about the cigarette. Uh, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it? I need some toothpaste. Yeah, I need travel-sized <laughs> toothpaste. I don't need. I don't need too much. Zoom in on the sign. I think it's called like Capital City Smoke Shop or something. So, oh, yeah, and grocery. smoke and grocery. Okay. Yeah. So it makes sense. They might have a little toothpaste. So uh -huh. if you're in Topeka, stop by Capital City Smoke and Grocery. <laughs> Tell the guy with uh, zero lung capacity left that I said hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you need? And. Um, Said, yeah, I heard you're the, the the guys at the BP sent me down to get some toothpaste from me. And he goes, well, we don't have any toothpaste. I was like, I, I should have known. Uh, something's <laughs> off in this town. I should have known you didn't have toothpaste. He said, no, we ran out a while ago. And you're right. They didn't. They weren't in a hurry to restock it. Yeah. And he goes, you know where you need to go? And I was like, can't wait. He said, go go down that way. And there's a there's a spot. And he starts describing it. He was like, it's... um." you'll see like some dog paws on the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he was right. So this next building, you can kind of, I didn't take a very good picture because I wasn't imagining this I thing. See it. Yeah. But on the left, yeah, there is a, it's a doggy daycare business. Now, if you'll, well, zoom out on the cars, you'll see, so it's a doggy daycare. They also sell used cars. Oh, I was going to say, why are those cars like, Diagonally in. parked, yeah, but back then. Why do they have neon stickers with numbers on them? Wow, a Chevy Malibu is going for fifty nine ninety nine in today's economy, 2013. <laughs> it's election year. Yeah. And then what's this other car? What's it going for? That's a Chrysler Town & Country. looks like sixty nine ninety five. dollars oh. I'd take that deal. <laughs> I'd take that all day. So it's doggy daycare slash used car business. And then zoom in on the right, slash that sign, Mr. Thrifties. Mr. Spelled out is great too. <laughs> M I S T E R. And thrifty is also it, it. No, yeah, no. It's no. spelled differently than what you would think. But no, then, that's how you spell thrifty. Oh, I would think. I don't know. If you're going to pluralize it, it seems like it would belong to Mr. Thrifty. Yeah, you we would yeah, put apostrophe, apostrophe S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but then we've got like a little logo for shopping cart says discount grocery. And um, so they, they're they're pointing they're you in sending me to directions. grocery shops, and so. <laughs> Yeah, I go in there, and um, I think I woke up this old guy from a nap or something. He was he was slow to get to the counter, and uh, he's like, what are you looking for? And I was like, I heard you're the guy, you know, for toothpaste in this town. And he said, we do have some. So we got to toothpaste, and he walks me around, and <laughs> as I'm picking it up, he apologizes and says, well, you know, I don't want to say anything. I'll just show you the, the, the one toothpaste brand he carried. <laughs> the brand is just called Anti-Cavity. <laughs> I've never even heard of this. <laughs> it's a it's a two pack a two for a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I I would I'd be better off just swashing some water in there, dude. Yeah, it you was. you might have more cavities now. <laughs> honestly, it oh, was amazing because he's he's walking me to it. He can see me looking around, and I think he sees me not wanting to pick up the anti cavity, and he's like. Uh, that's all we got. Uh, we, I was curious what their selection was going to be. He did apologize. He said, I'm sorry, we can't get the name brand stuff. Which kind of made me sad. What does that mean? What? Lucky Super Soft. Why, why can't I, he get the know, name brand? I don't know. Maybe he's just not buying in bulk enough. Oh. I don't know. But <laughs> um, so, so how is it? It was not good. I wanted to, uh, I'm not just saying that just to make this story. Like it, it had a weird texture. It was very hard. It like came out of the tube. It was difficult to get it out of the tube. <laughs> you know, like, use the two hands to squeeze it out. <laughs> um, lucky super soft. Yeah, you're right. So, it was not super. It was kind of super hard advertising. and it was very chalky well, in the it mouth. It might be very old too. How many people are buying this thing? I didn't even want to look for an expiration date or anything. And I knew I only needed this for two days and I had to buy the two pack. <laughs> and so I went to throw it away. Um, and I was like, well, I'll just like leave it on like a park bench. Someone else, maybe they need it. Yeah. So like one's floating around in Topeka right now. Okay. The other one I left in my dressing room after Wichita. But wow. Um, anyway, that was the story of me trying to get freaking toothpaste in Topeka. Toothpaste. In, <laughs> and you were probably, I don't know Topeka super well, like besides where I've been, but I don't think there's a ton of like suburbs or anything, but I don't think you were, you were, it sounds like you were in the city. I mean, right? think like, of it. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, a, it wasn't like been there a, was a residential area with like Walmart close or something like that. Yeah, nothing that it was close by. And hmm. yeah, it was just interesting. This is a 
Yeah, just a Friday <laughs> afternoon, beautiful day out, and I'm just taking a stroll, taking Topeka by storm. I just, I mean, how often has that guy ever been, the spoke shop guy ever been asked for toothpaste? <laughs> yeah, that just cracks me up. I mean, just you and, or me, or time, any of us, in a smoke shop in general is just a funny scene. Yeah, get me out of there. <laughs> I would have no, I have nothing, no contributions. There. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't talk about anything with that guy for about his job. So, um, Paul Malls, is that a thing? Paul Blart. Mar- Marlboro. Marlboro. Um, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't, I, I wouldn't smoke though just because I couldn't say it. Yeah. Marlboro. My parents had an opportunity to move into a house on, I think it was like Whipper Will or something like that. And they're like, we can't say it super well. So we're that's, not going to move there. <laughs> super Will. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. Anyway. So that's that. Okay. And then we'll get on to, I could share more about other cities later. But first, should we get, should we pull back the curtain a little? Should we get a little transparent? Hey, ghosties. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Permission to be, I'm pretty honest with you guys for the first time ever on the podcast. Can I be honest with you guys? <laughs> I know we lied about Brad's kid. Yeah, but this we we got to be honest with you guys a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Honestly, hey, I'll go ahead. Honestly, I'll pull it up. Good Ranchers, the beloved longtime sponsor, Good Ranchers, has let us know that they are ending their contract with us. Yep, but it's up to you to change your minds. We're not going down without a fight. <laughs> we're, we're recording this. This is this is true. This is real. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, Tyvin many... doesn't know what we're talking about, so I think Tyvin's kind of like, "What's going on?" How here? honest is it going to be? <laughs> no, this is real. I can't imagine many podcasts sharing details of their contracts with you, but that's how we roll around here. I mean, Good Ranchers. Obviously, you can imagine Good Ranchers and Main Street Roasters are our bread and butter, tried and true. We love them. We love them. We love their company. We love their products, and they also just support us so consistently, and it's been such a blessing to us. And recently, we just haven't gotten the conversions that they were wanting, and so right now, as of now, this they're is saying it. they're saying this is this is the last week with you guys. Um, but we are convinced. We are we are so hopeful. I I mean, I literally I emailed them. I was like, "We'll like, do you want us to go to the Indianapolis 500 and do interviews like on the at, at the thing? Do you want us to wear uh, chicken and cow costumes for a month for you guys? Like, we'll Let do whatever know. it takes because this is such a big thing for us to have this sponsorship show." Uh, we're just asking you guys, as fans of us, fans of Good Ranchers, please buy some meat if, yeah. you, if you eat it. Don't, one, if you're not going to eat the meat, don't buy it. Don't feel like you need to, yeah. but this to us seems like such an easy way for you to support us without giving us just money directly. You know, like yeah. you're getting your money's worth in food, right. one of the basic necessities of life. So yeah. hopefully it make it can make sense for your family and... Um, so yeah, just ask that you think about it this week. Just think about it. We truly are our, our, my personal family. We love their chicken. I mean, we love it all, but their chicken is, I mean, a staple three times, four times a week for us. And it really is affordable when you buy it in bulk. Um, so just think about it. Think about going with Good Ranchers. They're a great company, Christian owned. I know the owners and they're great people. Um, so just want to keep working with them. And I think that if they see a boost, if they say, like, okay, people are using GRKC promo yeah. code. Um, we'd sure appreciate it. We'd sure appreciate it. Uh, let me read the actual script real quick, just in case we get in trouble for not reading the script. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but buy, please go to goodranchers.com, buy some uh, promo code GRKC. American Media Deliver. Hey, did you know <laughs> that mRNA vaccines are approved and in use for pigs in the U.S.? <laughs> Are they? You're pulling my leg. Nope. The mystery continues to grow in the meat industry, and every day I'm more thankful for my Good Ranchers subscription. I don't have to worry about imported meat, unknown vaccines, experimental things in the meat I feed my family. During their Say MRNO to MRNA sale, Good Ranchers is offering you a free 10-pound ham with any subscription. Scraption. Their ham is fantastic. <laughs> and unlike the pork, it is at the store, it is guaranteed to be free from MRNA vaccines. That's a $119 ham that will get You'll get for free with my code GRKC. So go to GoodRanchers.com today to say MRNO for your meat. Uh, during the sale, every subscription enjoys $25 off any box. Yep. A free $119 Harris ham. Yep. And the Good Ranchers Lifetime Quality Commitment. They're promised to never compromise on quality. <laughs> Plus, with their never MRNO pledge, you can be sure that you're getting meat that's free from any unknown or potentially harmful additives every single month. What I really love about Good Ranchers is their commitment to transparency. <laughs> Just like we're being transparent. Hey, there you go. They believe that what that you have the right to know exactly what's in your food, and they're not afraid to show you. They're amazing supporters of this show, <laughs> so go support them <laughs> and the stand they're taking. Uh, Good Ranchers, American Meat, delivered. You guys know them. You guys love them. We know them and love them. We want to keep working with them, uh, and we believe in you, ghosties. Um, if it doesn't happen, that's okay. We understand. 
Uh, but we'd really appreciate it. Um, get some meat from Good Ranchers. Stock up. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So that's Good Ranchers. Love it. <laughs> wow, Simon. Give it up for GR. I mean, yeah. they're, they're GR. We're GR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the guy at the end there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to airdrop you some other stuff. Sounds you know, good. Just figured, hey, might as well, let's do another PowerPoint. We don't have to do it right now. Uh, I have a random little story. Brad, was, back to you. I was at Main Street Roasters East the other day, a.k.a. <laughs> our local um, McLean's Market. Saw a ghost you today, today this morning. Yeah. Shout out Allie. Allie. And her husband. We didn't meet him, but yeah. he's a fan Mr. of Mr. Allie. Allie. I'm sure. Um, was going through the drive-thru, getting some food for my wife. And this guy who I'd seen, I mean, he, he's a, he's a regular worker. We see him all the time there, but it's funny. Like I definitely know a few of the workers names. I don't know all of them, but we're like friendly to each other. Girl with the new hair. What's her name? Don't know. Cornrows. Cool. Cool hair though. Yeah. Look really. like a whole new person. Really long too. Surely those are extensions or something. I'll ask. I, they didn't seem, she didn't seem like she had that long of hair before. <laughs> anyway, this guy, <laughs> So I can't, I've been thinking about her all day, I can't focus man. now. now I can't get this girl out of my head, man. Uh, <laughs> How long was her hair before the corn was? So cool. Um, <laughs> no, this guy was in the drive-thru taking my, you know, whatever, taking my money. Taking my money. And uh, he's like, he's like, I, what's your name? He's like, I want to say, is it is your name Shane? And I was like, no, it's Brad. He's like, ah. Oh. I knew it was something. I see you in here with your family all the time, man. I never want to like bother you, but I just want to say I'm like a, I'm a fan of yours. I'm like, oh. cool, thanks, man. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And then I left, and I was like, surely this guy doesn't think I'm Shane Gillis. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wow. there's no way. I mean, like Shane Gillis, <laughs> if you don't know, he's a comedian. He's not as big as me, but he's a bigger guy, and he is a million times more popular than me. He just hosted SNL. And One of the like, most popular comedians in the yeah, world right now. Just had a Netflix special. This guy's big time. I'm like, but but like, why do you think my name was Shane, dude? Why Shane specifically? And like, why were you like worried to like talk to me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> If you're a big fan of me, you would know I'm not that big of a deal. Uh, That's funny. Anyway, I didn't think about it at the time and then somebody... Sent me a like one of my friends sent me a gif of Shane Gillis and was like, This reminds me of you. And I was like, Wait a second. I've never thought about you guys looking that similar, but yeah, you don't look not alike. And he's like, One of his big bits that he's known for is that he talks about looking like a special needs kid. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if I look like Shane Gillis or not, but anyway, that's a thing. So, um, yeah, I don't, I didn't know what to think of that. I don't, I don't, I maybe it's just a random word or a random name he's threw out there. Surely. Surely he doesn't think Shane Gill is just hanging out in Kansas City going to McLean's all the time. Loves the, yeah, the CBS <laughs> or McLean's. Yeah. So anyway. That's kind of fun. <laughs> so random. You might be Shane Gillis to that guy. <laughs> so yeah. I And if he did think you were Shane Gillis, he was probably very confused when he said Brad. Yeah. He's like, oh. This okay. whole time he thought you were Shane Gillis. So you're because maybe maybe what's happened you know we filmed a few things in mclean so maybe somebody's been like you know those two guys they they're they're, they do videos and they're like comedians they do stuff like he's like oh yeah i think i recognize that guy (laughs) and so maybe he's not a fan at all you know what i mean yeah but he's just like he's i I would say if i saw anybody that i knew i'd seen on a screen somewhere i would say hey i'm a big fan of yours i think we should start doing that in general two things first you say i don't have my belt on but second of all i am a huge fan i don't even have my belt on (laughs) huge fan (laughs) just anybody just Told with operator. All right, need a receipt today? No, but huge fan of yours. Hey, Keep man. it up. Just want to say huge fan though. Dude, I've been yeah, yeah I've been for a while now. Been Just, loving your stuff. Man, <laughs> huge fan. Yeah. Thank I, you. That's fun. Yeah. Hey, huge fan of you guys. That's a nice thing to say. Um, in my group, me with my all my camp friends the other day, my one of my friends out of nowhere just texted, I got one, and then asked me a question. And I called him up, like we were talking on the phone later. I was like, What did you mean by I got one? He's like, Honestly, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we've just been like sprinkling in. I got one. I got one. I got like, one. <laughs> out of nowhere. Hey, I got one. Hey, try this one on for size. So maybe it's the same thing. Hey, I'm a big fan. I got one. I'm a big Anybody fan. Anybody ever called you Shane? <laughs> so super random, but. Fun. <clears throat> uh, the final city of the stretch, uh, the, the Fiji of the four, really, <laughs> is Wichita, which I've spent some time Wichita before. And I really like Wichita. We have good friends there. I've been in some of the suburbs, you know, Andover, Derby. Mm-hmm. That was nice. I think Wichita's great. Mm-hmm. I have nothing but good th- thoughts about Wichita. But wherever the Orpheum Theater is located, <laughs> that area of downtown Wichita is, I've never seen anything like it. So 
And I looked, it's, I was trying to figure out what part of Wichita are we in? Maybe it's weird, but it's like, if you zoom in on the word Wichita, like that's where we are. I mean, it is the center of it. You're right in the middle. So it's just the center of the town. Was it on Rock Road? I don't know about Rock Kellogg. Road. Kellogg. Oh, Kellogg. Those are like the two roads that everything is on in Wichita. I saw Kellogg. <laughs> I, I got all up in that town because I had to go pick up a, I had to Uber to a rental, to get a rental car from their airport, drive it back. Then I was guy goes to Pickleball Courts, drive it back. Hey, mm -hmm. stop my quick trip. Okay, drive it. Mm -hmm. But I also did my run around town. And as I'm starting to run, uh, it's just very fast. So this is Saturday afternoon. It is 70 degrees outside. It's the day before Easter, and there's not a soul in this town. Uh, so I, I don't know. I just started thinking. I was like, maybe a town of this size, the downtown areas, they just don't have it. But everything is closed down. So, Tommy, it doesn't matter what order you click on any of those pictures I <laughs> airdrop to you. Okay. But I just started taking them really just to show Rachel. I was just like, you got to look at this town. So that's just like completely empty on the inside. That, oh, it's, uh, even it's happened to be driving by when I was taking a picture. Like, well, of course it was. <laughs> that building's empty. Well, it's empty? It's not like a school? It, yeah, nothing on the inside. Oh, it looks like an old school. That's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> just no cars anywhere. There, there's plenty to look at, but... Do you think... Um, sorry, go ahead. Just everything's... Yeah. Oh, there you go. Another empty lot. That's all boarded up. Looks like a huge former apartment complex. Wow. Nothing going on there. That is a place that used to be some kind of homeless shelter called Open Door. It says agency closed. And then look to the, the right side says no camping allowed. So huh. that's been a problem, I guess. Um, <laughs> Especially if it's not open for them to come for homeless. Like they would camp out, I guess. Yeah, instead. I guess so. Um, wow. you know, so it was just like kind of yeah. sad and yeah. just everything's run down and weird. It just there's no people. There, there's wow, no yeah, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, and these all are these all different pictures. angles. These are all different spots of downtown. Hmm. You can't find a business. If you do find a business, they're closed. Like if they do have a business like with stuff in it. So it's very interesting. The The people you do see is there are a, a good amount of homeless people in the area, mm -hmm. and that's okay. And I am uh, I got done with my run. As I'm running, I realized, oh, shoot, Caitlin Clark was playing right now. And so as I walk back to the venue, I'm, I've got my AirPods in, and I'm watching – the Iowa game yeah. on YouTube TV. And as I'm just walking back, a car pulls up next to me and they roll their window down and it's a woman, she says something to me and I didn't hear her, so I take off my AirPods and I notice she has like a, a big cardboard box kind of in her lap and there's a bunch of like brown paper bags in it. And she she grabs one and she said, I said, are you hungry? Do you need a meal? I was like, oh my gosh, she thinks I'm homeless. <laughs> I, <laughs> or at least I, she's passing them out. I she's like, look it to anybody, like yeah. a homeless guy. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, I couldn't believe that. I, I had never been confused to be homeless before, but I was just like, that is so nice. Yeah. I'm good, though. I am. Uh, you have any toothpaste? Catering's on the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> brought me the Orpheum tonight. So sorry. I had to take my AirPods out to hear you. Yeah. Um, no. It's sweet of her to ask. Yeah. Oh, no, it totally was. I was like, that is so nice. That good for her. She's passing out meals. And I wonder if, if it, I don't think this is the case, but like, I wonder if it's like a business area, but it just looks like it's just a, rough like part of town that's just not there's parts like of kansas city i don't know if they're that abandoned like on the streets but like i've seen buildings like this in kansas city but like yeah it's just everywhere I, it's just, it was more interesting i wanted someone from here's what i know ghosties in wichita i, I just want yeah, you yeah. to explain i'm so curious like what's what's happening to your town yeah patience axman tell us what's up she's a she's a fan mm, yeah yeah <clears throat> i think there's like yeah, I don't know. I know that like Wichita has pockets. I mean, just like Kansas City yeah, sure. has pockets, but it's like there's pockets that are like pretty high crime rate. Um, and then there's like very uber wealthy people in Wichita. Sure. You Coke know, Brothers. Coke Brothers. Yeah, exactly. Papa John's, Pizza nice. Hut. Is Boeing, are they Wichita? Used to be. They're in gotcha. Seattle now, I think. Um, but so used yeah, that to be was something in Wichita. But Fun. I got confused for a homeless person. <laughs> um, get back to the green room and... Uh, before I could even say anything, Michael walks in and he goes, yo, is this city abandoned? I was like, dude, that's what I was just texting Rachel. I, I, this city is insane. Yeah. And then Michael's like, dude, did anyone get barked at by a guy in a red truck? Barked and we're like, at. what? And he's like, yeah, this guy in a red truck just kept following me around, just like yelling at me and cussing at me and barking at me. And then in walks Derek and is like, you guys talk about the guy in the red truck? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Some guy in a red truck has just been terrorizing people in Wichita. Just um, bark, not even like giving them words. Just I think just like, hey, get, uh, we don't want you in this town. Get out of here. Oh, just okay. like weird stuff. And um, huh. yes, Wichita was wild. It was pretty fun. We all had a lot of good stories in the day. Everyone's sharing stories. Well, what would you do in Wichita? What'd you do? Yeah. How'd you, interesting. <laughs> 
Because I feel like the people I know that are from Wichita are very proud of Wichita. I'm sure if you're in a nice suburb, Wichita's awesome. Yeah, but that's the thing. Wichita doesn't really have suburbs. They have Andover, and then Derby's kind of a suburb. But like for the most part, people live like Wichita's just a big just like city. North Wichita. Yeah, or whatever. East side of Wichita. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you're just in like the wrong central Wichita. Or yeah, it's just in the in the middle of it. Downtown or man, it was interesting. Um, well, but, Overland Park is nice, so just remember that when you when you're like <laughs> thinking of Kansas being a little bit rough. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, Johnson County, we got some nice areas over here. So, yeah. uh, last thing I'll say, and then I'll move on from all this, is I think you, Brad, are gonna love this story. So, I I, nothing's gonna top the toothpaste in the smoke <laughs> shop story, man. I, you know, whatever. After every show, I will go out and to the lobby and say, what's up to ghosties. And it happened every show this weekend. It was great to meet all the ghosties who are out there and Wichita show gets over. And I start walking out to the lobby and get out to kind of the first part of the theater. And I just kind of keep walking and I, I can't really find Isaac anywhere. I'm not sure where he's at. And then walk out to what I think is the lobby and the big area. There's a ton of people and walk out there and, um, kind of keep walking and keep walking and, no one says anything, and then eventually I just walked all the way out of the theater. <laughs> it was the the Wichita walk of shame. So not a single person stopped me. I just kept walking and walked all the way to the back door and went back into You're like the trying to make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's never happened before. So uh, I never got never not got stopped. What'd you guys think of the opener? <laughs> You're like walking past people, like trying to make eye contact. Hi, how you doing? I'm like making sure. Yeah. Did I change clothes? Do you recognize my voice? Probably because I was up up there earlier. Leo, Titanic. <laughs> that one usually gets a big laugh. Come Remember on, Kennedy's, <laughs> Dallas. People hate Dallas. Uh, the no, jet? No, the jet from the bidet. Yeah, <laughs> huh. sheltered. I was sheltered kid. <laughs> I'm him. You know, Jacob. The four seat. Old the ring, Testament. Ring size. You know, yeah. Come on, bowling uh, alley. Yeah, my uh, dad's an idiot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Anything, guys. <laughs> this thing on. You're like, look at the security camera or security guard. Like, did did you see the show? Did you, you verify? Think? You heard it, yeah. right? They had my microphone on earlier. <laughs> well, I did see Patience Axman say, I was at the show, but I had to take my friend to her car, <laughs> classic Wichita, and then <laughs> come back, and they wouldn't let her back in. So mm. you had at least one on the outskirts. I mean, I saw a Facebook post. We were like, I'm so excited to see Jake tonight. I knew there were people waiting for me, I thought. Man. And uh, yeah, I just walked all the way out there <laughs> and just kept on walking. As you were like starting the story, <laughs> I was going to ask later. I was going to be like, has, has there ever been a time where you just don't see any? Because in my head, you said, I see ghosties. I talked to ghosts. I was like, that'd be so fun to like, talk to ghosties because I'm sure you feel like they really know you. Yeah. Like if somebody's like, Hey, I love your videos. Thank you. Whatever. But like, if somebody's like, Hey, I'm a ghost. It's like, Oh, you're like my friend. Yeah. You, you know, know, you know, intimate details of my yeah. wife and what the street I live on. And right. And so I was going to ask like, do you ever find it where you just don't meet any ghosties? You just meet like jean shorts people only. <laughs> Sounds like there's times where you just don't meet either. Sometimes, yeah. You go, you just strike out. Wow. So yeah, my first funny. ever, uh, Walk of shame <laughs> in which I just walked. I just did a full circle. Girl in the parking lot said she liked the show. Okay, so you didn't you didn't bat zero. You batted maybe. Yeah, I, know, I had a foul 75. tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got on base because the catcher like dropped the ball. Yeah, I know? got to first on a strikeout. <laughs> she had braces on, so you know, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Adult with braces or no child? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> mom didn't say a word. Uh. Mom and kid did, so that was nice of her. That's so great. yeah, full circle. <laughs> Which I walk shame, and that's that's the last show. So you have to live with that now. Until yeah, I'll next never week. perform again. Yeah, <laughs> where are you going? Uh, you got what do you got this week? Denver, two shows at Denver, two shows in Salt Lake. Oh yeah, that the special. Yeah, had to get the haircut. Um, are you gonna put it on jean shorts? What are you thinking this time? Sure. Yeah, you're gonna. I don't say why not. You film both of them and you just kind of like splice back and forth, or do you try to just be like, hey, this is my best one. I'm just gonna put all this one up there. The last show. Well, last time I filmed it, I remember my second show just being like, I think everything with the second show is great. I should just post that. Yeah. But I had certain moments of crowd work, which were a little better from the first show. So I was like, let's try. And I made it so complicated for myself. And oh, okay. Fit in things of both. Um, so tricky part hopefully. of doing that, though, is like your hair has got to look the exact same in both. You know, your shirt, you know, needs to look the exact same in both. So do you think about you film people, maybe yeah. probably time more than you, but probably both of you. I think about like the continuation aspect of Continuity. shows. All the, yeah. yeah. Is that what it's called? Like, I, I can't stop looking at it. Oh, Continuity man. is so impossible. It's such a hard <laughs> thing to like figure out. Yeah. 
because most obviously shows are multiple camera angles. And so like, whatever, somebody's like taking a drink and then the next, next time shot, it's in their left hand. Yeah. Or something like that. I notice stuff like that a lot. I always notice it Do too. You too. Yeah. And so I probably care too much where it's like, it's a comedy special. Like your hair can look a little different for one joke. Yeah. You're way more critical of that than anybody else. But has anyone seen that one Bo Burnham special where he's like, what's the deal with continuity ears? And then middle of that sentence, his shirt changes <laughs> colors or like in his arms, like completely changes. Like it was done on purpose. That's great. So that's kind of fun. Maybe you should do that. Like, I should steal his joke. Yeah. <laughs> Bo Burnham. <laughs> He's pretty great. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Found a new outfit, I think. I wore a new shirt, and I came out of the dressing room. Michael was hyping me up. So I was like, well, great. This is the shirt. I'm wearing yeah. for the special. What that, is it? It's the shirt I proposed in, actually. It's like a, a cream-colored like waffle knit, like long sleeve. Oh, yeah, the shacket kind of thing? Uh, no, sans shacket. We're taking the shacket off, leaving the, the waffle knit on. Oh, I'm sorry. The under. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot. People like it. Do some push-ups beforehand. Let, get those pecs popping. Some veins going. <laughs> What's up, you salt lake? <laughs> <laughs> Love it, dude. So it'll be fun. Be a good um, time. That's fun. Yeah, I'm excited for you. I would, I would love to see you just dominate some Salt Lake. I think Salt Lake's going to be a good one. To, it is going to be good. That. And it's I've I'm re- just been really enjoying stand-up lately. It just feels like yeah. Lucas wasn't here this past weekend so i got through 30 minute sets and i tried new stuff and the new stuff is working really well it's just like man it's fun really? it's fun performing yeah i was telling you at coffee this morning but yeah the the famous ghost runner story from march of 2020 where i got done performing and thought we were trending when in reality um <laughs> the world was shutting down if you remember that story everyone was like are we trending yeah uh i turned that into a stand-up bit and told that on stage this weekend and that went really well and that was fun and tried some other new stuff so that, fun. that would be a thrill to to try something new because obviously that's exciting in and of itself because you don't know if it's going to go yeah. well. And so that that aspect of it's fun. And then when it pays off, it, it'd be oh, double yeah. thrilling. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. It's so awesome. nice. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a relief rather than like joy. It's like, thank goodness it's not silent. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. But like like the like the twisted part of me is like, you know, like I want to I want to keep like punishing myself and doing stuff like that to myself. <laughs> do a new do a new one. Yeah. Say no sin. Try it again. See if you can go one farther and see if they <laughs> laugh at that one. <laughs> Yeah, just like make it awkward for yourself. So, uh, so yeah, stand up's fun. That's fun. I have a uh, two year old in my house. Her name's Rosie. Yeah, March twenty ninth. Met her. Um, yeah, it was her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Rosie. <laughs> First of all, she's so fun. She just like specifically like she does this thing where she kind of has like this raspy sounding voice when she gets excited, and so like ask me something that she would say yes to, like something that she wants or like whatever. Uh, oh, but, and by the way, it's kind of more fun if if she's like struggling. So like, let me say a few things and you don't understand it at first, right? Okay, so I'm like, Dante, Dante, Rosie, you want you want salt on it? Dante, oh, you want you want dinner? Do you want dinner? Nah, that's what she does. It's kind of an in and then yeah, nah. It is so. She sounds like a Call of Duty zombie. She does kind of have this like raspy, like monster sounding thing. Yeah, it is so funny though. She is. I was telling Catherine the other day, I was like, I think she's going to be like everybody's favorite out of all, like, I mean, who knows about Henry, but like Bo and Hattie are so sweet and so like cute, but they're way more reserved when you first see them. You know, even, mm, even when they come yeah. to your house, sometimes they're just like shy. They might talk to you. They might not. Uh, whereas I think Rosie's always like, yeah, yeah. Like you want, <laughs> you want me to hold you Rosie? She'll, she'll let you hold. Like she's just fun, playful. Cool. Um, so anyway, it was her birthday on Friday. Can, um, real quick, can I play the Call of Duty zombie yell and just see what it sounds like? <laughs> sure. It's an ad. Sonic garlic <laughs> butter bacon cheeseburger. Oh! Is that what she sounded like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I was imagining. Somebody over like dubbed that with Rosie's face or something. Go on with your story. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Um, my mistake. Anyway, it was her birthday, so we did what any you know homeschool Christian family would do on when, when the birthday's on Good Friday. We went to Good Friday service. Yeah. Uh, no, but before that, we had breakfast for her, and Catherine had the idea. Um, you know, Catherine's staying home with Henry, but she's like, I thought it'd be fun. We have a pet sh- pet store right down the street from our house. Oh yeah. Did you know this? Is this well? No. Which one? Uh, it's like Neiman Road and Shawnee Mission Parkway, like across the street from yeah. the post office. Yeah. Um. She's like, I, I, I've never been, but I've like, I remember K Life kids would say it's a pretty fun place to go, and so first of all, I looked up reviews the night before to see what time it was open. And everything, it is hilarious to read reviews on Pet Stop. Really, like, I mean, 
it's people just have very strong opinions on animals. So I might offend people talking about it, honestly, but like, or people might be like, that's cruel to animal, whatever it is. I don't know. Um, some people are just like, I just can't even go in there. I feel so bad for these animals. And I'm like, I get it. They're probably not being treated the best, but they're animals. So I don't, <laughs> there's a lot worse <laughs> things going on in the world that I want to worry about. Um, anyway, so we go in there. First of all, I didn't tell the kids where we were going. I just said, we're getting fun. in the car. We're doing something fun. So we'd go there. I mean, it's like three minutes from our house. So no, no time at all. We stop. Hattie's starting to read really well. And so like, Whoa. she's like, pet stop, you know? Oh, fun. We get, and I'm like, we're not buying anything. First of all, yeah. we're just looking, um, had a blast in there, dude. First of all, you'd never guess it unless you've been, I don't think, uh, in the middle of this pet store is a massive cage. I mean, how, I mean, as from floor to ceiling, like it would fit big bird, like a cage for big, big bird. Uh, it probably fit big bird. He wouldn't okay. have much room. Okay. Uh, but I tell you who did have room is a monkey. They had a monkey, <laughs> a live monkey in this stage, dude. Wow. There's a monkey a mile from our house right now. Yes. <laughs> Apparently he's been there for like 10 years. Like it's like, a, Oh, he's old. He's seasoned monkey, dude. But like, you know how, what in the world? Okay. We talked about kind of monkey. I don't know. Rhesus. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I don't know what are the monkeys. I don't know, Snickers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know, Chips Ahoy. What, who, who that cares? Um, <laughs> I don't know what his name is. Freaking not rages. So um, <laughs> trying to think of like the most like obscure. I don't know. Oh, Henry. What do you want to say? <laughs> Zero. Um, the Reese's monkey. Oh, the re- they're not cute. That's like something to do with whatever. Time to figure out what, what uh, monkeys we can choose it from. But anyway, you well, know. I know what monkey's in there. Well, we talked about last week how, um, or whenever that was, how, you know, this is a zoo, whatever. And that yeah. just means like nothing's going on. They're asleep. Dude, don't go to, uh, just l- pro tip for you. Don't go to zoos if you want to see some animal action. <laughs> go to freaking this pet store in Shawnee, Kansas. <laughs> go to a mismanaged pet store. <laughs> this monkey. Look, okay. We got capuchin, capuchin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Caprison. I like, I think it's one of those probably. Also that picture and the CBD picture on here. CBD? Exact same. Oh, well, Kathy McDonald would love the CB day. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hemp. I like that it one. It's hemp, called it's not hemp. Night Monkey. Night they monkey. couldn't think of it. They ran out of names. That one, what's that one, the name of that one that comes out at night? Just it's just a bummer when English people name it. Like, you know, when it's named by Latins, it's like the Pathelic day. Yeah, well. But then like this one, we're like, well, we find it at night, so we call it the Night Monkeys. Dude, the uh, Pithic day is, I don't know if that's a living creature. That, that that's, is that's a skull or something. Terrifying. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> That's the bone. Oh, it's like a extinct, looks like. Oh, that's cool. They showed us an extinct one. Yeah. Just in case. And that one says old world monkeys. <laughs> but dude, I'm telling you, this monkey, right from the get-go, I mean, they I don't know what they're doing to this thing. <laughs> but I mean, it is flying up and down, like hitting this thing. I mean, and Rosie is loving it. Dunty! Dunty! Like the whole time. Dunty! Dunty! I mean, I mean. I would have paid two dollars to go back. <laughs> two dollars per kid. Like that's worth it for me right there. I mean, this thing is like smacking this towel that it has, and had he's like, it looks more like a gorilla than a monkey. And you know, I'm boiling that it, they're I, caged right now. I mean, he's like he's like jumping from like limb to limb, like coming up like right that's up to fun. Rosie. He's got like a little like water spout. He's like sucking on his <laughs> right in front of Rosie. I mean. Like for 30 minutes, this monkey was very entertaining. I just looked up Pet Stop, and I'm sad that it's closed. I want to go like right, right now. now. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> let's go sometime. We'll, we'll um, family owned since 1976, dude. So this place. Oh, look at this monkey, dude. Yeah, you finding pictures? Yeah. Time you can pull one up on the What's screen. What's he up to in there, dude? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I know people out there are gonna like have sympathy for the monkey. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, he just he has no, no. Probably probably shouldn't be cooped up in that small of a space. <laughs> Is he there space. to be bought? I don't think so. I did not see a... Uh, uh, Didn't see a price tag? Um, this is unbelievable, dude. But yeah, look, I mean, just right there in the video, the swing is moving because that monkey is so active, dude. <laughs> They're lacing his food with something. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and all the workers... Oh, by the way, that rope... Did yeah. not exist when I was there. You could get as close as you wanted to. Rosie was touching that cage. It was it was double walled, <laughs> like two cages. But like, I mean, she was touching it. I think you know that it is some sort of rhesus monkey. Good going. Okay, so other I things, can't believe they just have a monkey in the middle. Unbelievable of dude. A, a primarily what dog and 
What, a little fish action? Dude. Maybe some reptiles? A decent little selection. Okay. Like in the back, it said inside zoo or indoor zoo. It had so many snakes, tarantulas, <laughs> uh, iguanas. They had a rhino. Uh, oxalotls. <laughs> yeah, rhino. Um, they had a Charizard. But brother. Don't, oh, I don't like this picture. They're just 20 mice in a cage. Oh, they're, that they're, was the worst. They're, you could They sell them in bulk. Rosie did make a noise. She goes, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And, you know, Hattie's like, it's okay, Rosie. It's okay. It's okay. But I was like on edge. Like Catherine was like, you didn't take, you didn't take very many pictures or anything. I was like, I was so worried that one of my kids was going to accidentally. Yeah. The something. monkey grabbed my phone. I couldn't. Because, yeah. Because like, if you look, first of all, maybe this is normal. Catherine was like, I think it's, they just clipped their wings or whatever. I don't know how birds work. I just assume if I buy a bird, they're going to be able to fly. You get the full bird. Right? These birds, dude, like. Uh, you were just looking at a, at a snake. You're like, it had nothing on its side. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not big in evolution, but I swear this is not a bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, but these birds, I mean, they were in open air cages. And just chilling. Open air, open well air behaved. cases. They're putting something in their food, too. Dude, same with bunnies. What do you think of no when you wings. think of bunnies? What do they do? A hop. Hop. Celebrate Easter. I mean, these cages were a uh, foot and a half tall. They've lost their will to hop. Also, dude. Let's let's play a quick, prison experiment. quick game here. Um, let's let uh, it's Price is Right. All right, one dollar. Yeah, what's the Price is Right theme song? I can't remember now. That's Family Feud. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, um, okay, Price is Right. Just guess how much these things cost. What animal we're we talking? Oh, the clipped birds. No, no, no. Let me tell you all. Like, oh, I'll sorry, just give sorry, you sorry, a sorry. gambit. And I am 95% sure I remember the numbers, but... Can I go quick Price the Right theme song? Yeah. I'm ready. Copyright, copyright. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll go cockatiel first. It's a type of bird. How much do you think cockatiels cost? Those like are the whitish yellow? Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. He's they, not taking questions at the time. It had a word in front of it, I think. I was something cockatiel. Male. <laughs> no, it was somewhere I didn't know. That's some Latin word. Um, I think these these are not just your average bird. This okay. is this is thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Um, and then they had another bird. Crap, what was it? This is where it, late night recording is hard. <laughs> What's another popular bird? Cockatiel and uh, a parakeet. Parakeet. I think oh, it was. Thank you. No problem. Now parakeet. Those are. I have no idea. I've never thought about bird prices. Though that's nineteen ninety nine. Okay. I think. Can I cap on mine? In? Sure. Chance? Okay. I think. Cockatiel, 80 bucks. Parakeet, 15. Okay. Uh, what about a ferret? Oh, ferret. Those stink. Ooh. Yeah. But it's a snake with fur. They, um, seem, they seem kind of fun. That's 30, $35. Dollars. Ferret? Uh, 45. Okay. How about any, any chinchilla people out there? Yeah. Okay. Big time. Yeah. I'm always talking about Hattie that. was actually <laughs> terrified of that. It was like in a fish oh, really? bowl, it was like just like cooped up. It looked like a massive mouse. In a fishbowl. <laughs> Circular mouse. Yeah. I think it's one of those things, like, as a kid, I think they loved it. As an adult, it's like, this place is kind of dark. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> a chinchilla, mm, 25. Okay. Chinchilla, it goes for, there's a there's a discount. It's 12 right now. Okay. How about <laughs> hamsters? I never thought about any of this stuff before. Hamsters and gerbils. Let's go. Let's yeah, go back 20 to bucks. 20 bucks a pop. 20 bucks? Yeah. Uh, both. Yep. They're, they're two gerbils. different prices. Uh, 30 for a hamster, 18 for a gerbil. Okay. That's all I can remember. I, I remember the, the dogs. Average price for a dog. I don't even know this, dude. We always got them for free from the pound. <laughs> Catherine was like, we bought a purebred black lab, you know, back when I was a kid for $75, is what she said. This is, a, this is a Johnson County pet. Are these dogs like old, new? No, they're puppies. Oh. Give me a lab for 99 bucks. I okay. guess is 150 Okay. Um, okay, so let's go cockatiel slash parakeet. I think I think cockatiel, seven hundred fifty dollars. I'm I'm I, I didn't bid too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I beat. I'm pretty sure parakeet or whatever the other bird was. One of them was seven fifty. One of them was like four hundred fifty dollars. Crazy. A for the, for the parakeet cockatiel, dude. I'm convinced these people are like having some underground thing and they're just. Fronting as a pet shop, so like, no one's buying these. Yeah, what um, cockatiel? Not bad. Let's see. Well, I what think, if I told you their lifespan was ten years? <laughs> Would that be worth? I'm pretty it? sure all the dogs were roughly twelve hundred dollars. Oh, 
Yep. My um, gosh. I think the hamsters were forty dollars. Gerbils seventy five. Gerbils more. Chinchillas two hundred. Wow. Ferrets. Four hundred dollars. I no. could not have been stupider with this game, dude. I, I would have, I would have been right there with you guys, though. Like ferrets, I, no. I, you're I, telling I me I could buy an like, iPad or a ferret? Like, <laughs> are you picture. kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Who Let's in see. their right mind is paying four hundred dollars for one of those things? I could go. I could fly, stay in a nice Airbnb, and spend eight days in Kauai, <laughs> or I get one cockatiel that <laughs> won't shut up and doesn't have wings and doesn't fly. Yeah, the one <laughs> thing it's supposed to be able to do. Uh, yeah, I was picturing like, uh, like okay, these aren't. For some reason, I was thinking like these are kind of run of the mill. Like this is like a pet shop. They're like not purebred. They're all Dude. just like, yeah. But these seem like that seems insane. I mean, there's a it's it's a dingy floor in this pet shop. Don't be don't think this is like a nice pet shop that we're in here. I found a review. Like it's next to a food for less or something <laughs> like that. Like, and the other side might be abandoned. Might I don't know be, what's on the other side. Abandoned. That's what I said. The other side. What did you say? Of the pet stop. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. I expect that's not the nicest area. It's not yeah, a nice... There's like a vape store nearby there. <laughs> yes. And, like, yeah. it's not like a very... Yeah, exactly. Um, I found a review on Petco.com. It says $400 for a cockatiel. LOL. You could buy Indian ring neck for that amount. <laughs> I don't even know what the animal is. Yeah, like a snake. tell them. <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> so, yeah, I could be wrong a little bit on those prices, but it was something... I remember Ferret for $400 was wild. Cockatiels, you said seven fifty. One of the birds was seven fifty, and one of them was four hundred something. Wow! Yeah. yeah, I mean, just insane, man. There's a Reddit post called "Why Are Cockatiels So Cheap?" <laughs> so maybe so I, who, who's your cockatiel guy? That's what I'm saying. Like it, it seemed when I saw fair at four hundred dollars, I thought this place is just way overpriced. Because I can't believe it. That's so funny. A ferret is like a pest turned pet. <laughs> it, like that seems yes. like something you wouldn't want. Agreed. You have ferrets in your basement? You're not like, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll sell this for profit. Dude, nice. Like, we got a problem on our hands. Yeah. They did have the mice. Mice were like a dollar something, I think. Maybe three dollars. I can't remember. Would the mice be, I mean, sold for food, right? For snakes and stuff? Yep. Yeah. They were white with the red eyes. No, thank you. Hmm. Um. So anyway, they had these other things. <laughs> they look kind of like rats, they, but it was some word I'd never heard of before. And they were normally forty dollars on sale for nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, okay, they're trying to get rid of those nasty things. <laughs> I'm reading some reviews right now. This is awesome. The, this review it starts off by saying, I don't know. Period. I and then D U N N O. I don't know. I don't know. Um, haven't actually been in for years. <laughs> <laughs> I but, love how I don't know. But. Uh, where to start? I don't know. I haven't actually been in for years, but the five thousand dollar puppies certainly scream puppy mill. But I don't know for certain on that. That's it. I mean, there's more, but it doesn't yeah. seem like they're. I don't know. <laughs> I Handy spot see, for quick supplies. <laughs> I did not see five thousand dollars, but still, it was. Tyler oh, said I cried in my car after I left. See, that's what I'm saying. There's people out there that are like, I, I read all those reviews, and I was like, I don't know if we should go to this place. I read them the day before. And I was like, but then I realized that I had accidentally clicked on like a keyword. And so I was reading all the things that said cage in it for the <laughs> monkey. So all these people were just so sad about the monkey in the cage and the dogs in the cage. And then I went to like all the rest of them. They're like, this is a family institution. My kids love this place. So I took them there. Wow. Didn't put any money in there though. Do not buy reptiles from this business. They are weak. <laughs> is it the business or the animals? <laughs> Yeah, also fish are expensive. I mean, the whole nothing was like, oh, that's cheaper than I thought it would be. Everything was so expensive. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that's kind of bummed me out reading these reviews. I'm gonna get out of here. I did hear at one point, you know, Hattie's kind of getting more conscious of money and everything. And I was with Rosie with the dunk day, dunty, looking at the monkey, and she's like perusing around the rest of it. And I hear her go, $79.99? <laughs> 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 I don't know what it was for, but she, she was beside herself too. That's so, funny. Yeah, Hattie, yeah, Hattie. Jeez, because <laughs> she's all about like she. I guarantee you, if you asked her, she knows exactly how much money she has right now. Yeah, I have forty-seven dollars and sixty-four cents. That's so, fun. Yeah, know your worth. Yeah, priceless. So, Cozy Earth is sponsoring this podcast episode again, guys. Are they? Sorry, I don't know if I updated. <laughs> Are you just looking at the Monday doc? I am. Hey. Cozy, go by Cozy Earth. I don't think that they're sponsoring this episode. Well, I didn't I'm mean sorry. I didn't mean right now. 
You didn't. No. <laughs> what, what made you think that? I. You just like Cozy Earth. Mainstream Roasters is a great place to buy coffee. <laughs> now, you, Amen, you, you talk about a place that I want to support, and I wish they had comfy, comfy clothes, because I'd wear them. But they instead, do have comfy clothes. They do yeah, have you're right. They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> instead, I'll settle for their amazing coffee. No, Major Roasters is awesome. You guys know it. Uh, if you need coffee, if you're a new listener to the podcast, we have this amazing longtime coffee sponsor. Uh, but just because they've been sponsoring them all, a while doesn't mean that you shouldn't support them or mm-hmm. it shouldn't mean that, you know, you're, the, the well is run dry nope. on your canteen of support. Nope. I just recently um, tried their, their Costa Rican Torazzu. I'm, I'm officially a fan. Yeah. It is nice. How'd it go down? Real nice, blended up real smooth. A uh, woman from church came to see the baby. I said, can I offer you some coffee? I gave her some Main Street Roasters coffee. Let's just say she stayed a while. <laughs> so, uh, no, she, she's like, this is really good coffee. Didn't even put any creamer in it. Straight. Straight up. Straight black, homie. <laughs> so, uh, MainStreetRoasters.com. You guys know them. You guys love them. They have so many different single origin coffees, flavored coffees, blends. They even do it in K cups if you want to. So, and the cool thing that people are posting on Facebook is that Main Street Roasters will write you a letter most of the time when you like. Yeah, if you're like order. a Ghost Hunters person. Yeah, thank you for your support. So it's great. Um, and right now they are doing a little deal where if you order, you pay more than the original cost. Or no, wait, I'm saying it's, it's actually the, it's actually okay. It's right at retail price. Or no, no, it's not. Dude. No, okay, never mind. It's less. Than. It's less than. Oh my gosh. So sorry about that. No, it's no, actually ninety percent of what other people have to pay. Sorry, so it's like a super complicated like algorithm mick like you have to download a i don't work in it i probably what season you know, all that binary stuff, right? zeros and ones Why, huh? and, uh, do i need my cbc for this <laughs> it rubbed off I yeah don't can you do it on a rom or do you have to have cd Ma- it- mac os which one uh-huh uh-huh windows 90 windows xp well, get all that out of your head because all it takes is the promo code grkc Capital letters or no? Doesn't even freaking matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Not case sensitive in here. Caps lock, caps unlocks. <laughs> hey, it's your caps. It's your caps, baby. I GRKC for 90% um, full price. So fun. Love. I love that little running joke. You can get so much coffee for the price of one cockatiel. Jeez. Think about that. I'm just reading all these. I mean, just the word Sumatra gets me going, dude. Just what a, it's is, just, is that word? It sounds dirty. No, you're thinking a comma. Frank Frank Sumatra. Frank Frank Sumatra. (laughs) Frank Sumatra. He's a crooner. (laughs) Comma Sumatra. Sumatra. What? what Sumatra is just a. I don't know if it's a place or a type of coffee or whatever, but I just know it's wonderful. Sorry, that I asked you. (laughs) Indonesia. I don't know if it's it's always from Indonesia. I don't. Yeah, it's an island in Indonesia. It's in Indonesia. It's in Indonesia. You're in Indonesia. Yeah, it's inside of that. No, it's Indonesia. It's in (laughs) Indonesia. Oh, Main Street Roasters, I love you. Thank you for being our sponsor. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Main Street. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Thanks. Uh, uh, shall we do review of the week? Yes. Please do. I know I, everyone wants me to read um, Case and Crow's Facebook post, but you're going to have to stick around until Wednesday because that's my comment of the week. All right. My review of the week actually does not come from the Ghost Runners brand. I stumbled my way into this. I was on our Friday Pickleball website okay. looking for reviews to read for like Facebook ads and whatever. And I come across one and it just says, these paddles rindle my weaver. And it was like <laughs> all this like Ghost Runners lore in the Friday Pickle like web. It's like on the website. Wow. And he's talking about, I'm like, man, Rindle Weaver is like, his name is in so many places now. That's amazing. And now he's on the Friday Pickle website. So I love that. So shout out to Asher John. He wrote like a Ghost Runner style review about his Friday pickleball paddles and said, these paddles rindle my weaver. Well, rindle weaver. <laughs> I thought that it really took me by surprise. I was like, that's so fun. That's rindle, awesome. rindle weaver's been following people back on Be Real, like podcast listeners. Oh, I've noticed okay. like any of my friends that also pro- like ghosties, I've like seen that they follow rindle weaver. Hey, rindle. Kind of He's a great guy. Social I'm so, guy. I'm so excited to hang out with them. Ghost yeah. Away. You don't even know. Him and Chad, big Chadwick. <laughs> yeah. Fun. All right. Mine is um, coming from Tori Lynn. Nine four nine five, um, five star review. Big Henry fan. Exclamation point! About two years ago, a friend recommended this podcast to me because I mentioned I couldn't find a clean comedy podcast. This is now the most loyal I've ever been to a podcast, <laughs> and I truly do feel like you guys are my friends. Heck yeah, Tori, back at you. Um, 
Like so many who have left reviews, this podcast has helped me get through some tough times. My son, who is also named Henry, eh, let's go, was born seven weeks early back in September. Listening to the hilarious stories and fun games on Ghost Runners has helped me get through drives to the NICU and late nights when Henry came home. My husband and I even had an impromptu Ghost Runners themed date. Wow. On one particular tough day, we put Henry in the car because he wouldn't sleep, and we drove around, got Chick-fil-A, and made our own s'mores for that still exists, <laughs> all, while, all while our son slept so soundly. Oh, car, I, I get it. It's so awesome. Just nice put, the, put the baby in the car. Uh, I'm truly great with, with you in it in the car on and you're moving. Um, got it. I am truly grateful for the two plus years of laughs that you guys have given me. Thank you. Oh, and the other day I noticed that the tag on my breastfeeding cover says, you got this mama. <laughs> Go ahead, Jake. You got this mama. <laughs> you're that a made, rock star mama. mama. Uh, Dinner's that, at your place tonight, mama. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on me, mama. <laughs> That made me laugh really hard. Don't get the breast milk on your shirt, mama. <laughs> if you do, it's okay, though, mama. <laughs> Don't get the breast milk on your shirt. so funny. It's like such a funny thing because like, you've never had kids, obviously. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Don't that's get what it. the bib's for. Yeah. I just spell out exactly what it's for. <laughs> that made me laugh really hard. And I now it, and now I always think of you guys while I'm breastfeeding at the trampoline park. <laughs> that's great. Uh, Hattie was not born seven weeks early, but Hattie had to go or Catherine had to go to the hospital for Hattie when she was seven weeks early. From due. Yeah, ended up being four weeks early. But I understand what it's like having a young, small little baby. And like I remember Catherine, I think she had to feed Hattie every two hours at the beginning of, for a while. And so that meant like by the it's time that she- awful sleep. Yeah, by the time that Hattie got done- I kind of remember that. Nursing. Yeah, because she needed so much- like, Yeah, getting- 45 minutes, maybe, maybe 15 more minutes- ideally to get Hattie to fall back asleep. And then Catherine has one hour at most usually to sleep before she has to wake up and Man. nurse again. If I, maybe I'll do this for Rachel. When I, if I was going to say, if I was a mom, I, I would get the nicest recliner. Yeah. And I just, I just sleep topless and I'd have the baby <laughs> right here. Yeah. Just like, wake me up when you need it. Yeah. I'll, and then you just sleep like that <laughs> and just try to maximize your time as, as much right. as you can. Yeah, I remember Catherine, her parents had twins at one point. And so, oh. yeah, just like, yeah. Can you go? Just pass. I think so. At the same time, you can like yeah. dual wield. That's The body is amazing, dude. It'll produce what it needs. Dude. Hopefully. No, if, hey, mama, if it's not producing, <laughs> it's okay, mama. I kind of went into a little Trump there. The it's I, okay, mama. <laughs> okay. I know I've got a you're, lot of mamas voting great, for me. great, mama. Okay, I've had, I have multiple mamas, I multiple like wives. I don't like the Chinese mamas. <laughs> <laughs> I have many, <laughs> many <yeah>. mamas, <laughs> incredible mamas, blonde mamas, <laughs> brunette mamas, <laughs> fantastic mamas. So that's ahead. amazing that you can two at a time. As far as I know, don't don't quote me. On I would any like of it. to see what the human body can do as far as liquid leaving the body. Like, could you be going to the bathroom, double breastfeeding? You just ate Taco Bell burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what else? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'd like to push it to its limits. I bet you, if you Google with the safe search on, you could find out. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in Sumatra some while eyes right. going on, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so that's our review. Oh, that's our favorite review of the week. It was that one. Tory Lanes. Is that what you said? Something like that? Tory. Tory. Yeah. Tory Lynn. Tory Mama. Tory Mama. That's fun. Um... Jingle of the week. What are we thinking? Yeah. Would anyone like to... Uh, People really like timing, so just go ahead and take it away, Tom. <laughs> uh, I don't have... It. I, I'm sorry. I'm still, like, halfway alive right now. I'm still... Yeah, you got a newborn. We yeah. got a lot going on during the day. Yeah, it's go amazing. Go to getaway coming soon. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, it's just... it's just. I'm not getting, like, no sleep, but when you don't get enough sleep, like, two weeks in a row... Yeah. For 14 days in a row. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like... I could I could have done that a while back, and now it's like I don't, I feel it, Mama. <laughs> so anyway, I I don't have a jingle. Um, so time in. Go ahead, <laughs> Jake. So you, you do yours. Instrumental for me or? No? Um, yeah. Do you want to do I, another? I don't problem? care. Um, hey, whatever you want. Let me shut the door real quick. Rachel might be sleeping. If you guys didn't catch on, we were recording this video pretty late at night. Yeah, I want to know. As, as I was thinking about this, I mean, we've definitely recorded at nine forty four, like it is right now, before. But I want to know what hours of the day we have not recorded yet. You know, because I think. Yeah. Oh, I hear her voice. She's awake. 
She's alive and well. Um, <laughs> what what hours, if you could think about it, have we not recorded before? Good question. Because I know, we, I mean, we've recorded probably till we've never done before eight a.m. Yeah, dude, we did one time. I'm we so did, dumb. Um, I'm, a, I'm a real piece of work. Boy, are you an idiot. <laughs> We did one time because I had to go to Texas and you did an all nighter home from Oklahoma oh City. Oh my gosh. I remember that day. That sucked. Yeah. You drove home and we met at like yep. 6 a.m. or something like that. Yeah. All nighter. Yeah. I remember that. Um, oh. I don't know what the latest. I remember that one time you, me, and Scott recorded three in one night. <laughs> You remember that yeah. in Olathe? Yeah, we were some. We were both going on vacation soon or something. Yeah, and so like or v Christmas vacation. I don't know. I mean, we probably got done at three, so maybe like four a.m. <laughs> is like, and I don't know between sure, four and five thirty. Never recorded the podcast. Surely we've recorded at like five p.m. before, but I can't. That's that's another one that was kind of like a random spot. Yeah, I'm, you're always with your kids eating yeah. dinner probably at that time. So I don't know. I can't remember specifically doing it that time, but all right, Tommy, you have lyrics ready? I do not. Oh, he's, oh. Just, he's just winging. Oh, wow. Wayne Brady over here. He Googles out. chat GPT. Uh, yeah, interesting. Don't go uh, straight Kind of to a the... boomer energy there, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a genre? Right now, I've, got, I've still got the Price is Right theme song pulled up. Um, <laughs> I was planning on playing that, but I could do something else. What uh, genre would you like? Good question. Good question. Thanks, um, Tim. Soulful jazz. <laughs> I have no idea. I... Yep. Nope. Okay. No yep. problem. Hey. Soulful jazz soulful is jazz. a tough one there, Timon. Yep, I. That was my bad. Probably we'll find out. No, this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's running me so many. I lyrics. like this. What's the song about? Hey, yeah, no, this... don't even tell me. Oh no! Just no, 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 a soul, a soul, a soul full jazz. <laughs> if this gets a little bass going, I can feel this. <laughs> All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Thanks for coming out tonight. <laughs> this is a new one. <laughs> In the hush of the night, <laughs> where the moon softly gleams, oh, oh. whispers of the heart dance in silent streams. This is the best song I've ever heard. In the jazz of the soul, where the notes softly sigh, <laughs> there's a melody weaving beneath the starlit sky. Let the saxophone cry, <laughs> let the piano keys sway. I in the rhythm of our love, let our hearts find their way. In the soulful jazz, where our spirits align, let the music of passion be our timeless design. <laughs> yes, keep going. With every gentle chord, story unfolds, tales of longing and love, and melodies untold. Yeah. Melodies untold. <sighs> Through the ebb and the flow of the night's tender grace We find solace and peace in this intimate space <laughs> hey. Let the saxophone cry hey. Let the piano keys sway In the rhythm of our love let our hearts find their way In the soulful jazz Where our spirits align let the music of passion be our timeless design. In the oh. silence, <laughs> silence, sweet notes. Hey, hear the whispers of desire. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what was that desire? Whoa, hey, whoa. That mean. As we lose ourselves in the music, our souls set on fire. <laughs> Some long pauses here, buddy. Javian. Javian. With every tender embrace and every longing gaze In the language of jazz Our love forever plays So let's dance in the moonlight <laughs> To the rhythm of our song Fellas, grab yourself a lady in the soulful jazz of love where we both belong <laughs> <laughs> Said it hey! For any other's arms In this sweet serenade We'll find heaven on earth. Yes, we will, brother. Where our love will never fade. <laughs> oh, that's good. That was so great. What an instrumental. Well yeah. done, Timon. That was the best song I've ever heard. 
<laughs> that was my favorite song right now. Saxophone cry. We were like, you've been listening to music. Just this one song. It's called Saxophone Cry. <laughs> it's copyright free. It's awesome. Was you can that? To as much. Yeah. That was good. Oh um, man, that's a great time. People have been saying like, oh, t- like we'll hear, we'll be hearing an album or whatever. I should just. You just you find random instrumentals. That's great. I chat GPT the lyrics. Yeah, so easy. The album's called Chat GPT copyright free. Yeah, and just there's no there's no metaphors. It's like <laughs> what does he mean? That's just that's exactly what it is, dude. Yeah, you're 85 percent away from like or to 85 percent towards a really good song already. Yeah, like just figure out the <laughs> just melody like of that out, song. Like, consistent, like, yeah, figure yeah, out the melodies. chorus and how it goes, and, and, just, and we got it. And you could even like yeah, Chat GPT keep the same lyrics, but add give me a few more syllables per line or something. You know, whatever yeah, you need so for good. like yeah. The song. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should have told you the pinned comet says it's 80 beats per minute and the key is C minor. I should have said that. I could that. have nailed yeah, this. Jake. Yeah, that could have been <laughs> neat. <laughs> a great, good call on soulful jazz, Tyler. Seriously. Thanks. <laughs> Dang, that was fun. And the topic of the song, soulful jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Tyman's Jet GBD prompt says, write me lyrics to a soulful to jazz. To a soulful jazz. <laughs> period. <laughs> no, not even period. <laughs> you can just write me lyrics to a soulful jazz. It, it got it. It did it. Uh, anybody that likes that song should look up Dub FX, the song Flow, on <laughs> YouTube specifically. Watch the live version. Okay. It's like eight minutes long, and it's so good. It's just a guy, like this British British rapper guy, this white dude, like just like going nuts on a beatbox while a saxophone player plays. Oh, that's my dream. I, I want to be I a heard, British guy. I heard a good like saxophone thing. It's called Phoenix by Gallo Street. Look that up. Okay. okay. Hey. Jake? It's a good jazz. So if you like saxophone... Bad Blood by Taylor Swift is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think. Yeah, I got nothing. I know uh, when I was did, I filmed one time for the DJ group Two Friends, and they would always hire a local saxist, saxophonist, and he would come and like it was EDM with a live saxophone. That was oh, it was, fun. it was a local. That's it wasn't awesome. like a traveling guy. Yeah, like, they were, like they hired a guy from KU to be their saxophonist of the night. That's dope. Just like, hey, we're in C minor. A you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's jazz. It's jazz EDM. So just just go. Beat a bop bop, just just yeah, jazz. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's fun. That is fun. Fun episode from start great. to finish. How All do right. you? Como se dice en SAL? SAL. Thanks for listening. SAL. Thanks for watching. SAL. Better call SAL. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Got much more to talk about. Yeah. Think about supporting good ranchers. Think about supporting major roasters. And think about supporting us on Patreon. Three good ways to support us. Yeah, thanks for the podcast all. is free, mama. We really appreciate it. Tell your friends. We love you guys. We'll see you Wednesday. Yep. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.